Hello and welcome back to the Medique Wall plugin. This is Nathan Wilkerson and today's topic is wall presets. Um, today I just wanted to briefly explain a little more of the functionality with wall presets and uh, some of the little quirks I guess with that uh, system currently. Um, let's just go ahead and start off by drawing a couple walls just so we got something to edit. And oh, before we even do that let's um, close this out and jump here into the global settings. So if you want to use wall presets, <coughs> um, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have the graphical UI turned on in the global settings. If you do not have the graphical UI turned on, you will see the uh, legacy uh, menus pop up for creating walls and they will not give you the option um, to do wall presets. Another thing to be aware of also is that in the walls tab, you can have the uh, plugin auto load a particular preset if you have one defined. And right now, let's see, I don't uh, actually, I probably, oh, I have one here defined. But I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, let's just go ahead and close that out, not save that. So, yeah, make sure that you have the graphical UI turned on. <coughs> okay, let's go ahead and draw some walls. And go ahead and just throw a few down here. Just so we have something to look at. Okay, good enough. Let's throw just a window or door in there. So we have something in there as well. Okay, great. Okay, so now we got some windows, some doors, some walls. Now let's jump into this whole idea of wall presets. Okay, so <coughs> you'll notice in the draw wall menu and also in the edit wall menu, you'll have this option up here for wall presets. And the first thing you need to realize is that yeah, well, let's go ahead and let's create a wall preset first. So, let's change this up here to 2x4 and make this an interior wall. Okay. Now, all we've done right now is change what's in the form. It's in the HTML menu. Okay. And those settings are not live. So, if I were to start drawing a wall right now, it would still draw an exterior wall. To make those settings live, you have to always hit update. Okay. Now if I went ahead and drew a wall, notice we've got ourselves some interior walls. <coughs> okay. <Going> escape. <coughs> so let's go ahead and save this as our first interior wall preset. So hit save. Put a name to it. Uh, let's see interior wall one. And hit save wall preset. Okay. So now you can see that in the drop down here we've got two different presets. Okay, let's go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a wall again. Okay, now you notice the default values that pop up in the form will automatically go to the last previously created wall. It won't necessarily go to a, a particular preset, unless of course you set it up that way. But it, it's going to an interior wall, it's going to, you know, whatever. To load, let's go ahead and load up the wall preset that I had created originally. Um, now let's go test and it's kind of a three-step process right now and I may have to adjust this so first you select the preset then you hit load all that load does is bring those preset values into this HTML form that populates the form okay so now the forms populated that doesn't mean it's actually live to make it live we hit update okay now it's live now if I go ahead and draw you'll see that we have this other wall preset that I've already defined, okay? Um, and you can see that, uh, yeah, it's a different preset. <coughs> now, <coughs> let's go ahead and edit. Let's go ahead and edit this uh, particular wall right here. Okay, so now when you edit a, a wall that was created with a preset, it, it doesn't know that it was created with a preset. It literally forgets that information. Um, it just knows that it's a wall and it has all these parameters, okay? <coughs> so let's go ahead and change what we want this pre what this wall to be uh, defined as. So let's go ahead and change it to this interior wall preset. So first we load the preset and then we update it. Okay, see there you go. Now it's now it's been updated to that interior wall preset. Okay. 
let's go ahead and try this one here so we'll go ahead and edit that wall assembly as well we're going to go ahead and load this preset okay see so it says loading preset and then we'll go ahead and update update this wall panel so basically all the load is doing right now is it's loading up the preset values from the preset file into the form it's given you so that you can review that information then you go ahead and you apply them by hitting the update button oh it, it, it won't change because it's the same that's right well it's the it's it, it, there's nothing to update <laughs> let's actually let's let's go ahead and do another wall here then just for okay so let's go ahead and do this one let's load up this test one load it up and then update okay so now we've gone to that preset wall so really that's all there is to it I guess the key point that I wanted to make was that when you want to load and save and, and do these things it's kind of a a bit of a multi-step process and I like I said I may have to simplify that down the road but the main thing to remember is that first you select your preset then you load it and then you apply it okay so basically it's kind of a three-step process for saving presets um, well in this case if you already have it you can always save over a preset and it'll redefine it so let's say we go this interior wall and we load that and let's say we want to bump that up to say um, I don't know 100 inches or something <clears throat> okay then we hit save and of course it'll allow you to save with the same name when it does that it'll overwrite the existing wall preset with that name okay so there now I'm gonna go ahead and close that out and I'm gonna go over here to this wall that we had originally set up as an interior wall. I'm going to edit that wall. I'm going to load the interior wall preset that we just resaved. Okay, now notice the wall height automatically updated like we expected to. Now we hit update. And there you go. So really that's all there is to wall presets. At this time I don't have a way of actually adjusting the wall presets except in the draw wall menu and the edit wall menu. At some point I would like to have it so you can um, actually define and uh, edit wall presets here within this tab and so I need to add that little uh, what I call wall preset manager into the plugin so that is something for future uh, future items that need to be added to the plugin anyways um, if you have any questions or comments please send me emails or uh, even call me on my phone I don't have a problem with that um, hopefully this was helpful in a, a little bit to you guys and uh, I appreciate everybody's support. Thank you.